Hey guys, it's Lara. Um, it's my week 40 weigh-in, which is crazy. I cannot believe I've been here doing these videos for 40 weeks and I haven't missed a single week in 40 weeks. Um, so yeah, so my week this week was uh, quite well. Um, I don't need to tell you guys that my weekend was a bit rocky. <laughs> Actually, my weekend wasn't too terribly bad, to be honest. Um, Friday, like I had told you guys, I had like my treat night or whatever because that's what I do um and then Saturday Saturday I like I was trying to do um the Seagster's 20,000 step challenge or whatever and yeah um so I I didn't even make 20,000 but I'd gone out first thing Saturday morning I went out for like a two hour walk and then when I got back from that, shortly after I got back from that, I did my Kempel workout and I was feeling just, I was just feeling exhausted and drained on Saturday after that. Um, and when I feel that way, like no matter how I feel, when I feel any way, it makes me want to eat. So I was feeling exhausted and drained and it was making me want to eat. So I tracked everything I ate. Um, but it was a lot of mindless snacking. I wasn't really feeling hungry. I was just wanting to eat. Um, so that's, that's something I'm really trying to step away from. I'm starting to try and get more and more into intuitive eating and just eating when I'm hungry, stopping eating when I'm full, um, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm still obviously counting points and calories until I feel like I'm to the point where I can intuitively eat and still maintain, um, you know, whether I'm at a point where I still want to lose weight or maintain my weight, whatever. So anyway, so yeah, I wasn't feeling hungry. I, sorry, my chair is really squeaky. Um, I just wanted to eat and so I did and I think I was like to a point where I only had like six points or something left for dinner and we were going out to a dinner theater. So I was like, well, this is definitely going to be more than six points, but what can you do? Um, at the dinner theater, they had a choice of four options for dinner. They had a prime rib with potatoes, um, baked chicken, or not baked, uh, breaded chicken with potatoes, um, and uh, a baked cod fillet or whatever with wild rice and then oh and then they had a portobello mushroom vegetarian option but I tried portobello mushroom for the first time last week I tried making uh, portobello mushroom pizzas I've never had portobello mushroom before and um, I don't like it I hated the taste of it my husband didn't like the texture of it like no well so I wasn't gonna get the portobello mushroom dish obviously so I did get the baked cod which is so unlike me um, normally I would have been all over that prime rib, but obviously prime rib with potatoes or breaded chicken with potatoes, baked cod is obviously my best choice. And I made that choice. I made that best choice. Um, so I was really, really proud of that. It was okay. Honestly, it wasn't very good. Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I like fish, but, um, this was a very, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I was looking at everybody else eating prime rib and I was kind of like, meh. But, um, I'm still glad. I'm really happy. I'm proud of myself that I made that decision. Um, did I enjoy myself any less because I didn't get the prime rib? No. I still had just as much fun with my cod as I would have with my prime rib. So, that was okay. Um, I did have dessert there that night. I had chocolate cake. They automatically bring out dessert. It's like, uh, they give you your soup, your salad, your meal, and your dessert, and they just automatically bring it out. So I did have dessert, and then also, um, uh, my pregnant friend and I split, uh, virgin cocktail thing, so it probably was a few points, because it was like orange juice and 7-Up or something, but anyways, I was like, I'm not drinking alcohol, so I'm gonna, whatever, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that was Saturday. Sunday we went to my parents' place for Father's Day, uh, for steaks. And steaks, um, I don't have steak very often. Right now we don't have a barbecue 
at our place right now, so we don't ever have steaks. So, and I love steak. Steak is like my all-time favorite, favorite food. Um, so I, I tried to have just half. I cut one of the uh, strip loins or whatever in half, and I tried to have just half, and then I was like, I need more. I need to have the other half. So then I went back, got the other half. I ended up having a whole one. I don't even know. I think it was like eight ounces or something like, ugh. But whatever, whatever, it was delicious, and I was very happy with that. Um, okay, so that's that was my weekend, uh, which wasn't as bad as my weekends have been. And then Monday through Thursday, perfect, 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 on point, perfect. Um, yeah, I tracked absolutely everything I ate, absolutely everything. There was a couple times uh, throughout the week that I went and just grabbed like a small handful of almonds out of the cupboard without really thinking about it, but I ended up counting them as I was eating them and um, tracking them. So yeah, I did perfect, 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 perfect. My workouts have been on this week. Everything's been on this week. Um, I just, I feel like, whew, this week I got my mojo. Anyways, so <laughs> I weighed in this morning at 160.2. Uh, so it's a loss of 1.4 from last week. And I have also lost over 25% of my original starting weight because I set um, on my Weight Watchers app I set my goal weights as like in like 5% increments or whatever so my goal weight this time was 161.1 and that brought me up to 25% of my total loss of my starting goal weight so that is really awesome that's incredible that's a big number I think uh, so yeah 160.2 next week I will be in the 150s you bet, you bet. I'm so excited about it. Um, my next big goal, like, my goals that I had set up for myself, the first one was to lose 50 pounds, which I've reached. My next big goal is to get to 150 because um, for the longest time, like, because I've been overweight, like, my whole life. For as long as I can remember, I've been overweight. And I used to always think to myself, 150 would be my goal weight. Like, not even, like, 150.0, just, like, in the 150s. That would be my goal. Uh, I would be good then or whatever and then obviously like since I started losing weight well even before I started like when I started on this journey now I have a more clear focus in my mind like I say my goal weight is 130 but it's more I know how I want to look and I think I'll weigh around 130 when I get to that point um, before I never had that clear set focus of what I want to look like or whatever um, so anyway, so 150.0 is like my next sort of goal because it's like, that was a number that I used to always think would be great. <laughs> so close to that. I'm 10 pounds away from that. So that's good. Um, and yeah, this, as far as this week, there's not, not a lot going on. I don't even think I'm really doing much exciting for cheat night tonight because when you're broke, you can't really afford to go, um, eat out anything exciting. So, um... Yeah, but that's fine. We we got a pretty busy weekend this weekend. I think we're supposed to go to the zoo tomorrow, but I don't normally eat zoo food, so that's fine. Um, and then I think we're going to my in-laws for dinner on Saturday night. Uh, so I don't know what that'll entail. Well, it could be like pizza or something, but whatever. All in moderation, like... I'm not too concerned about it. Um, and yeah, otherwise there's nothing else going on. Oh, Brian Adams on Wednesday night was absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, he was really good. They were very happy and energetic, and I love that when you're at a concert. I love when the, the people on stage are happy and energetic because it's like you really feel it. Um, but yeah, he was, he was really good. Put on a really good show. Um, and yeah, so... There you go. I know somebody had said, uh, I think it was, oh, uh, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Slimming Lady had said uh, that she loves Brian Adams and she's seen him a couple of times. So thought I'd let you know what I thought of him. Yeah, he was very good. So anyways, um, that's it, guys. That's the end of week 40. Uh, so yeah, I hope everybody had a really great week. I hope you all have a great weekend and a great week next week, and I will see you guys for my P90X update on Sunday, or I don't know, I haven't been getting those videos up till Monday lately, but anyways, Sunday or Monday, you'll see my P90X update. Okay, see ya.